Good afternoon, Royals. I'm Madison Starr. And I'm Dylan Clark. Today is March 14th, Day 3. Stay tuned for all your school news, weather, and all of your lunch specials. Your RTV News starts now. Woods Driving School will be offering a course on March 25th and 26th. The course includes two days of theory and 10 hours of in-car instruction. The cost is $750, including GST. Please contact Kelly Woods at 780-826-7515 for more information. Are you thinking of having the daily special in the cafeteria and you want to make sure that you get it? Pre-order in the morning and Tracy will save you one. But remember, this does not apply to Taco and a Bag Day. Graduates, the deadline for submitting your baby and childhood photos for the slideshow is quickly approaching. Please submit your photos by email in PNG or JPEG format, format to clhsroyals at gmail.com by March 23rd or there will not be a video to show. In touch workshop for Cold Lake First Nation students in the library at lunch today. Grad photo retakes are on March 28th. Sign up online. There is archery after school on Wednesday and nationals on Thursday. There is a grad meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 2409. Now let's go over to Tori with our RTV News weather report. Hello CLHS, this is Tori with your weather. Today we have a high of zero and a low of minus 12. <laughs> tomorrow we have a high of five and a low of minus one. On Thursday we have a high of two and a low of minus eight. On Friday, we have a high of one and a low of minus four. Thank you for watching. This is Tori with your weather. Thanks, Tori. Ever wondered what your teachers would look like in a tutu or a tiara? Well, you're in luck. The nickel war has begun. From March 13th to 27th, you will be able to use your money for good or evil every lunch hour. All teachers have been placed into separate groups that you can donate to. Donating nickels will protect them from wearing a costume, but any other form of currency, dimes, loonies, toonies, etc., will work against them. Tallies will be gathered frequently, and the team with the most money donated against them must wear a costume. All proceeds from the Nickel War will go to aiding those who are struggling through poverty and crisis locally, so all entries are very welcome. Senior badminton players. Any students in grades 10 to 12 who are interested in being part of the Royal Badminton team should attend our first practice this Thursday at 3.30. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Carts. A huge congratulations to Cold Lake Royals cheer team on their fourth place finish this weekend at the Northland Cheer Competition in Edmonton. Attention grads, if you are attending the Grand March with a fellow graduate as an escort, please sign up on the Grand March list in Miss Thompson's room, room 2409. Grad break sale Thursday, March 16th. Grads, please bring something to donate. Donations can be left in the library and everyone, please bring money for yummy goodness. St. Patrick's Day cupcakes are on sale today in the cafeteria for $2. Come and get them before they're gone. JV boys, please go to Mr. Hudinski's room on Friday at lunch to sign your banner and receive your medals. Today's lunch special is chicken burger with spiral fries for $5 and beef noodle soup for $3. Now to our Royals update with Miss Eagles and Mrs. Martellotti Keen. Hello, Cold Lake High School. I'm Dylan. This is your RTV in-house with Miss Martellotti Keen and Mrs. Eagles. So, Mrs. Eagles, what's been going on in sports recently? So much has been happening in sports. Uh, right now, basketball seasons are over. Uh, the senior basketball teams just attended zones. The girls came in second, and the boys came in fourth. So we're super proud of their, their effort and their play all throughout the season. Um, our junior teams are also done. Our junior boys uh, won their championship, their district, so that was wonderful. And the junior girls came in fourth, and they had a really – strong finish to a for a young team I'm really proud of how they did and now we're moving on to badminton so badminton tryouts for grade 9 is starting on Wednesday and if you're in grade 10 to 12 you need to come out and see Miss Karts on Thursday and the other exciting thing is archery is uh, going to nationals on Thursday hashtag road to nationals so they're doing really well they're super excited um, so please if you see any archery members just wish them um, good luck at their at nationals and cheer came in fourth this past weekend in Edmonton. So pretty incredible how everyone's doing. A lot of seasons are coming to a head right now, so it's an exciting time. Thank you, Mrs. Eagles. So now, Miss Keem, what can you tell us about an upcoming Royals Pride event? 
Yes, we have an upcoming event. It's called Royal Races. It's going to be on Wednesday, April 5th, and it's going to take place during the lunch hour. The event is um, a friendly race and a series of races between teachers versus students. So we already have our teacher team, 10 plus teachers signed up ready for this event. And what we're looking for is students to sign up as a team. We're looking at teams with um, about six players who are um, competitive, they have a lot of spirit and they want to have fun. Um, so if you're interested, you can see myself or Mrs. Eagles to sign up. And the deadline for sign up is gonna be March 31st. So I wanna just kind of let you know you don't need any athletic ability to sign up or no coordination to sign up. All of our races are traditional, um, fun races, um, but it should be a good time. All right, so what do you think about this event? I'm pretty excited about it because uh, the pep rally we just had and the one we had first semester were very well received, but we got a lot of feedback that people really liked the relay race. Um, so I think this is just a really great time for um, a lot of people, no matter whether you're on a team or not, to be able to compete against the teachers. And then in all honesty, I'm sure the teachers are going to probably make a fool out of themselves at one time or another. And who doesn't like to see those types of things? So although we will win and be successful, the teachers will I mean, we pretty much dominate most things that we do against the students, so that's to be expected. But I think it's just going to be a lot of fun for people to come out and uh, have some school pride. And now one last question. Has there anybody been caught being a, being a royal? Yeah, so caught being a royal has kind of um, been on the back burner while our new RTV crew has been uh, getting their footing. So uh, one person that brought up, and no surprise, Maria Thiel is kind of an all-star student every day. But one day in particular, um, Miss Savoy lost money right out of her pocket, a substantial amount, and she thought it was gone forever. And lo and behold, little Maria Teal brings it back to her. So it was really appreciated, and it just showed a lot of integrity that she didn't just go out and buy lunch for her friends or something. So we were happy that she returned it, and that's another uh, caught being royal. All right, thank you, both of you. Uh, that was your TV in-house. That's all the news we have for today. To wrap up the news, we have an interview with Dave from Leadership and guest reporter Mr. Nickel. Don't forget to donate your nickels for the Nickel Wars. See you tomorrow, Royals. Uh, hey, everybody. It's Mr. Nickel here uh, with special guest uh, Dave from Leadership. Just wanting to get an update from you about something that's coming up with uh, the Leadership Group. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, this year we're having our annual Nickel War like last year, but this year this is going to be a little bit different and it's going to uh, create a great competition between teams because last year we had departments, but this year it's teams and we're also going to add a mystery player, which we didn't have last year and he's going to be revealed in the end. So if you want to donate, you know, a nickel, a dime or a quarter or a dollar to see your team, the, the team uh, you want to, you know, dressed funky and goofy, that's your choice. and. Um, that's all we gotta go. Yeah, I mean, I noticed on the list of the teams, if students pop out by the cafeteria at lunch, they can see all the list of teams. They're divided differently. So this year it's not by departments like math or science or CTS. They've mixed them all up um, underneath categories of uh, integrity, commitment, mm -hmm. pride. Yeah, team gold, team black, and other team, uh, I don't remember that, the team actually. Yeah, and so what's kind of fun this year is that year. The mystery player, no one knows about until they're going to be revealed later on. Yeah. And once that mystery player is revealed, um, students can put their nickels where they want, and that will totally change the, the way this uh, event is going to happen. Can you tell us what we are, what leadership is raising money for? Uh, we haven't decided yet, but uh, later on today we are going to have a meeting as usual, and we are going to decide what's the who where's the money is going to be funded for. So that's our plan for the funding program. And so how can students get more information and how can they find out some more about the Nickel Wars? Uh, they can come and talk to Ms. Crocker, Ms. Penlin, or Ms. Forsyth about the Nickel War and they'll you know, give more brief, uh, brief and more defined information if you, you, that you seek. Awesome. Well, thanks, Dave, for joining us here on RTV. And hey, I'm Mr. Nickel, special guest reporter for RTV News. Have a great day, everybody.